How's it going everyone? Hunter and Zach here with Foundation Disc Golf and we're back with a new face-off idea. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to be rolling dice to pick five discs. So we have to get a driver, a mid, putter, fairway, and then one that's just whatever the dice pick. Um, basically, it's got to be discs we've never thrown before. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. They must be discs that we've never thrown the mold up before. So even if it's a newer plastic, nothing like that, it's completely new to us. And then we're going to go play nine holes with them. Um, how the dice is going to pick is basically each shelf is going to have a number. We'll roll the dice to pick our shelf. Then we'll roll the dice again to pick the, like, um, height. Like yeah, one, the two, three, or specific four. level. And then we'll roll the dice pick a third box. time to pick a box. And then you have to pick from that box. So we won't have all the dice rolling in there. We'll just get to our first box. So there's that disc. And there's justices next. I think these are all justices. This would be the third and then i think this is i think it's an emac maybe truth of throwing truth you've thrown a truth before those are all truths are you sure i think yeah emac that. so the next one down i think is gonna be a criminal a thief i've definitely never thrown all right a thief. so zach's got this indian sun stamped thief for his this is a fairway fairway yep okay here roll again three um, are these the same disc? No, that's a FD2. I've thrown that. I've thrown this. MD4 I've thrown. So the third disc is a PD. Yeah. So I, I'm going to just go with the only one in the box I haven't thrown. What is which it? Which is the P3X. Look at that. 100 um, pounds putter. It feels pretty good. Not going to lie to you. It's beaded, shallow, and according to the flight numbers, it's overstable. We'll see if that's true, but... I think I have a forehand and backhand approach disc with this thing, so I'm Man. I'm set. Is there any distance Second. drivers to begin with? Well, I can go mid. There's a mid in there. Okay, yeah. So do I just take the only mid in there? Yeah, because the rest are uh, fairway. So have you thrown an MD5 before? Yeah. I have not. Oh, this is also a mid. What's this? That might be the MD5. Oh, are these all MD5s? Yeah, they're all the same disc. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just take this one. So Zach's got a uh, MD... C-Line MD5. Yeah. Is that overstable? Oh, yes. Nice. I got my, I have my forehand disc, man. Nice. The essence. Should I get a stock run instead of a evolution run? Sure. Okay. So so I'm still going to use the essence, the essence, but I don't want to use a primal run. So I'm actually going to come to Foundation's inventory and grab a stock run um, so that I don't take a primal run and beat it up. Yes. So in essence, I'm very excited to try this out. Yeah, we this, were talking about this before. Yeah. This will actually drop, but when this video is released, this will drop next Thursday. So if we like it, yeah, I've got time to pick up another one before it hits the site. There you go. So the first one there. Yeah, I think they're all the same disc. Is that Outlaw? I have no clue. Let me see it. That that yeah, is? that's a Sparkle Outlaw, I believe. All right. But the Legacy, jeez. The Legacy is basically a destroyer. Okay, so I just got my my uh, distance driver. Yeah, there you go. So it gave me a five. So. Well, the ringers are in front. The glides are in the back. It's all good to glide. Yeah. But is that a, does that count as a mid? It's a mid. Is this, this going to be the only mid? Yeah. Is a glide? <laughs> oh, no. Hunter's got a glide, guys. Oh. I mean, I'm excited to throw it, but that can't be my only mid. I hope, yeah, it hopefully is. my random one is another mid. Right. And it's an overstable mid. This doesn't feel that bad. Oh, well, this is technically a driver, but we're, we're, it's a mid. It's yeah. a six speed. It doesn't feel that bad, but it's going to be flippy as all heck. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. <laughs> and buzzes and Phantom Warriors. I've thrown buzzes before. And the only thing I haven't thrown is Phantom Warrior. So you're getting some uh, some legacy. I've been this. Yeah, I've got two Outlaw. legacy. Yeah, and three silver discs now. Yeah, I'm sticking with the silver if I can. So next has to be a uh, putter. A putter Putter's for me. That is, that's going to be my random disc right there. So Hunter's turn. Three. Now, nah, there's a lot in this box I haven't thrown. Five. I think this is all the same. Are they all putters? These are all the same. Is it a distance discs. driver or random? Oh, so yeah, this more. might be your random. One, two, three, four. The fifth disc is wizards, which I've thrown a wizard. Okay. I've thrown a hunter before. What's the disc behind the... So that leaves the prowler, I think, back here, you're saying? Yeah. That's more wizards. Okay. These are all wizards. Um, it's whatever this disc is. A legacy disc icon prowler. There you go. So I have two putters. So that means I'm not getting an overstable mid. No. 
It better not be windy out there today. <laughs> so the fifth putter I find. <laughs> I would just say if there's any putters in there, just grab one. Well, I'll go with the one, whatever's in the back, because that's what okay. I, it's the farthest one, because I rolled the f five. It is a P1X. Okay, you thrown that before? I don't think so. Discmania, P1X? I don't think so. All right, Zach's got his putter. Got a P1X. Three, goes left to right, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm in here. Um, what? Now roll a number. Well, I don't even know if there's distance drivers in this box. Four. Cause this is so this is a distance driver, but I think I've thrown it. It's G Star crate. I've thrown a crate. Um, these are all fairways. All fairways. That's a distance driver. A star CS. Is that Colossus? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sounds about right. I have not thrown a Colossus. But I also do not want this to be my distance tracker. But, uh, but it is. So it is. Can I pick? I can pick my weight from within here, right? Sure. Because I mean, this, these are all G Star Colossuses. Well, yeah. what if it's like Champ Colossus behind it? No, that's a know. turn. So I turn the turn. So these are my only options: G Star Colossus, and they all seem to be lightweight. <laughs> like, how did? How do I get this screwed? <laughs> okay, 175. We'll take that. A G, a 175 G Star Colossus. So let's uh, let's run through my discs here, shall we? G Star Colossus, from what I understand, flippy. Okay. <laughs> Essence, from what I know, flippy. Glide, flippy. Prowler, straight, from what I understand. I haven't thrown one, but straight. And then my only hope at a wind fighting disc is a D line P3X. I think I'm a, I think this is gonna be my putting putter and like straight approaches. This is gonna be my workhorse. And then these I'm just hope that they're more stable than they seem. I think we'll have to come up with some rules to make sure we throw all five discs. So for my putter, I have a P1X. Uh, for my mid, I have an MD5, which is awesome. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be forehanding this guy. Distance driver, I have the, what did you say this was? It's a Sparkle Outlaw. Sparkle Outlaw. I'm very jealous of that. I used to throw an Outlaw for a long time. These two seem kind of similar. The Phantom Warrior. That's overstable from what I know. Yes, and then the thief. Yeah. Which this, I don't know anything about the thief. I don't either. But I feel like this might be. It's going to be straighter than the Phantom Warrior. Um, but I think I like them all because I know I can definitely forehand this and these two, these three right here. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this. I think Zach's got a big advantage here. The putter is really deep, so I don't like that. Yeah. Um, that, but, but that's like your only disadvantage. Everything yeah. else, I feel like, would almost make it into your bag. I say let's get out there and let's see how this goes. Let's see it. Here we go. All right, so we made it out to Falling Creek Park. We made it. It is windy, which definitely plays in Zach's favor. Uh, we're gonna be playing the yellow basket today. Hole one is straight ahead of us, uh, in between those trees there. And it is 305 feet. The rule to make sure that we play, use all the discs, is you can't use the same disc off the tee two holes in a row. That should be good enough. The whole distances, I think, kind of force us into throwing every disc anyways. So we're going to play a nine-hole loop here and just straight-up stroke play, see who wins. Oh, okay. Was not expecting that at all. Go into that tree? Yeah. Well, that's what you get when you've never thrown a disc before. Uh, I was expecting it to uh, be overstable for me. But it, co it flipped completely over. Uh, well, let's see what Hunter does. All right, Hunter's going to put her off the tee. Go with the P3X. It's the only thing I feel like I can trust in this wind. Uh, we'll see if I can't get it close. That is stable. Ooh. D-line plastic against rocks just makes you hurt. Better but shot I, I'm me. happy about how it flies. Yeah. All right, well, Hunter's got a chance to make up two strokes if he could drill this long putt. But if anything, definitely one. The Prowler feels like it's got a decent amount of glide to it. Okay. This plastic's a little slicker than I would ever want in a putting putter. Yeah. It's icon plastic. I I don't. I feel like it's gonna fall out of my hand when I go putt. That'd be fine with me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Well, I'm parked. Okay. I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> Is that on purpose? No.
good. 515 feet to the yellow basket. It's a ways out there. I'm gonna throw the G Star Colossus. <laughs> I really don't know what this is gonna do. It's kind of exciting. I'll put it on hyzer. It's into a headwind too. I do not want to be in this right stuff. No. Because there's ticks and chiggers. You might not even find it. No. So I'm gonna aim straight at the basket on hyzer. Yeah. And hope that it flips up and rides a little bit. Worst case scenario, I hope it just hyzers out into that other fairway. Hunter found his new distance driver. I mean, that went like nowhere, to be honest with you. It got a full flight out of it, but I feel like the headwind just stalled it. it. It was decent. I'm in the middle. Can't really complain. Got a Sparkle Outlaw here. 2016 uh, United States Disc Golf Championship. Hunter says it flies like a beat up destroyer, but who knows with Sparkle. I'm maybe just gonna try and release it flat, maybe towards the left. I don't wanna go in the right. I'm nervous. That's all I got to say. I'm just playing better than I thought. Okay, get down now. Dude, that went like 250. I'm telling you, this headwind, nothing's yeah. going anywhere. Pretty stiff headwind here. Oh yeah. Oh, she's beauty. Making the bag, huh? Honestly, it, it's, <laughs> it feels like a little bit of a straighter zone. Yeah. Wow. Stable. Everything is just getting really pushed down out of my hand. I'm gonna have to start throwing stuff really high. Everything's getting pushed down. That I just pulled, but no big deal. All right, so right now Hunter can putt with his P3X. Off the next tee, what we're gonna do is, you can't throw the same disc twice in a row, drives or up shots, just to make it a little harder. Um, I say harder, yes, I'm not doing good. Don't roast me in the comments, I get it, you're better than me. All right. I hate, I hate headwind putts. Hunter's a little nervous, there's no wind right now. Any miss left. That was just a miss. Yeah. We should really start warming up putting before we play videos. Do you mean just warm up in general? Because we don't warm up ever. That's what I'm saying. I, I wonder if that's why uh, we suck so bad. I don't know. All right, on to the next hole. All right, Hunter, hole three. We'll be trying the essence out. I think it's like 300. 75 feet? 375? Pretty much dead straight through this yeah. tight gap. Slight tailwind. I feel like this should flip up to flat. Yeah. I haven't thrown it yet. It feels great. I'm super excited for this throw and I hope it doesn't let me down. I'll just try to pop it out there on hyzer and get it. Don't let the, the people back. down, come on. Oh, it's flippier than I thought. Um, it's not great. Zach's breaking out the Phantom Warrior. I think I'm gonna throw the forehand out there to the left, try and crash into that That's tree smart. next to the basket. That's my goal here. Get over here, film it. You good? Yep. Now get to the right. All right, not bad. That should be an easy three. Put a little bit more angle, I think, than I wanted on it. Um, but I think I'm gonna like that one. All right, Hunter is right there, down in this little creek. Found his disc. Basket is right here. I am in the gap, but hopefully he doesn't hit me. Nice shot. Oh my word, that scared me. Going back and forth, mid putter, mid putter. Great job, Hunter. On to the next. So we're on hole four, 465 feet. Uh, pretty much goes a little bit to the right, just outside of the uh, ed, the wood line. I would throw the essence, but because of the rule, you can't throw a disc twice in a row off a tee shot or twice in a row at all. Can't throw the essence because I teed off at the last hole. And I want to save the Colossus 
for the next hole. So that leaves me with the glide. Haven't thrown it yet, do have a little bit of a tailwind. I'm gonna try to just put it on hyzer and hopefully the glide actually has a lot of glide, but we'll find out. <laughs> Come out of it. It has a lot of glide, but zero fight back. So that puppy's deep in the woods. All right, I'm gonna be throwing the, uh, can't remember ever what this is. Outlaw. Outlaw off the tee. But first I wanna give a shout out to the Bedford County Parks and Rec. Keeping this place beautiful. Um, it, it's beautiful out here. Still, you know, grass is perfectly cut. Um, you know, maintaining those courses during these times. So thanks to you guys. In the, you know, middle, not much glide to that disc. It's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the putter and then hopefully I'll be close enough to where I can just tap in with my mid range because I have to go on and off. Um, hopefully this has a little more glide than that MD5 does get there for me. Just a crappy throw. Just fell out of my hand. No confidence. Not feeling it today. All right, guys. You saw Hunter's last tee shot. Um, unfortunately, he could not find it. These woods are super, super thick. If you get in there, odds of you finding the disc, not very high. As you can see, Right there, he's running back to the tee pad. He's going to re-tee with a stroke. Um, he could use whatever he wants. Uh, he only has now four discs to use. So uh, let's now watch his tee shot. Alrighty. All right, here Hunter is for his four, approaching with what looks like the Prowler. Oh, that's got a chance. Oh my gosh. That thing had some glide, dude. That thing's in the air forever. It really did. I thought it was going in. I had a chance. I think I'm gonna lay up so I can take my four and gain a stroke. Boo. I can hear the comments now chanting run it. I mean, I'm gonna run it. Okay, good. But I'm also putting with the MD5. Booyah. There we go. Take two strokes back. Come on. Hole five, 360 feet straight uphill. Um, Hunter took the stroke on the last uh, tee. Uh, he just doesn't have his mid anymore. Um, so no big deal. I'm gonna be throwing my Phantom Warrior off the tee because I threw my, still, I wanna call it a rival. Mm. But isn't this? I think that's like an enemy. No, I think this is the rival. Maybe that's a rival. Look so, at the bottom, I should say. Yeah, rival. Okay, so that's but a rival. That's what called? Outlaw. Out I'm never gonna remember it. But anyway, I'm gonna try and throw this forehand. Uh, just hit that gap, get a three. That should be fine, it'll be... Yeah, it's Perfect. there, I should be able to get a three. I was planning on forehanding this, but I think this disc is flippy enough that if I pump it flat, I can get it through that gap and maybe give myself a long putt for the two, gain one of the two strokes back I just lost. I mean, worst case scenario, it hides out and I take a three. Right. So I should be fine. Get under it, get under it. Yeah. Wow. Be a long putt. Yeah. But it's up there. Not bad. Also, this swirly plastic looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. tap in there it really it just the glide it's got just, a lot of glide it hangs in the air that extra like half second that yeah. everything else doesn't that something to think about all right hole six 345 feet um it's on the right side of this line of trees you're gonna want something to either push straight and then crash in or if you're hunter i'm guessing it's gonna go big over the top have something come back that's my guess. Um, I have the outlaw. I remember the name. I'm gonna throw it out there and hope it crashes in. 
You make up two strokes. Shabby, I think there should be a jump putt, um, but a three nonetheless. Guys, he's talking about a roller. He I should just do it, shouldn't he? I think he? the grass is too tall to where I won't get it there. Wait a second, you know what? I forgot to do this in the beginning of the video. Guys, wish Hunter a happy birthday. The day that we're shooting this video right now, it's his birthday. So, wish him the happy birthdays in the comments. But obviously it won't be his birthday when you see this. Should I go roller? You should. Do the Throw the birthday roller. We'll go roller. Okay. Oh, whoa. That is parked? I mean it's inside the Dude. circle. Oh. Oh, it came back. Oh yeah. It's like a 40 footer, but what the heck happened mid-flight? You wanna hit that tree? It hit the tree, bounced left, and came kept going. I threw it I threw it too pulled right. Yeah. I wanted it to be in the field more. But that almost I feel like it almost aced the short basket. It, on that it almost bounced. I know. Shorter than I'd like. Got about uh what would you say, Hunter? Fifty five feet. Sure. Um, Hunter is not 20 feet, 20, maybe. Not even. Uh, I've got a stiff tailwind right now. I've got to get this thing up pretty high. Can't go down three. That'd be detrimental. I gave it a chance. Just pulled it right. All right, guys. Here's Hunter's roller. Pretty, pretty dang good. Look at that. How often do you even do this I hole? Very, very rarely do this hole. Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. Guys, pick up an essence. Yeah, this thing is great. <laughs> it's impressive. Nice. Hole nine, then we're gonna swing back around to hole 19 and 20. Yeah, uh, hole nine's 230 feet. Pretty much just goes straight across the creek and then finishes left. I'm gonna throw my P3X. I feel like I haven't thrown it in a few holes. Yeah, I haven't thrown the, the thief since you threw a thumb rock shot. Yeah, like, but I haven't thrown like a backhand again. Yeah. But I feel like this is the perfect disc for this hole. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I can get a little ace run. Yeah, here we go. That's crushed. Kick off the tree. Nope. Not too shabby though. It's deep, it's like 30 deep. Phantom Warrior. Just gonna pop it out right and Hopefully it comes back in. Hopefully I don't throw it too far. Usually be throwing like a zone here. That is short. It fell before the creek. This puppy's going in. Okay. Oh, dude, if I didn't hit that tree. Hole 19, 455 feet. The longest 455 you'll ever play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, straight uphill, right side next to the wood line. You just want to get this puppy out there in the middle and then worry about the approach after that. Oh man, didn't flip it at all. It's up there. Only issue is they don't have a mid. I don't know what I'll throw from there, but we'll figure it out. There she goes. Maybe it's gonna stay on the edge? Oh no, my back foot slipped out. Maybe another long putt. Okay, so our camera died. Hi. Uh, so we're gonna shoot the rest on the phone. Uh, we've never had that happen before. Um, but no, yeah, go okay. for it. Back in the woods. Whoa, hey, that'll run. Hunter for his three with this very glidey prowler. Look at those dance moves. Oh, Hunter. Oh. Hole 20 here, island hole up there. Go oh, not really an yeah, island hole. Not really an island hole, just a lot of OB around it. Here it goes. That hole's way short. It's short, but 
Easy three, I'll win. If I ace this, can I win? Can I Deal. Win? If he gets the first ace on the channel, we'll let him win. Oh, heads up! Sorry! Okay, like I said, it was gonna flip in the wind, I said it. <laughs> Hunter with the essence, lining up for the wind. Hunter played well with these random discs. So uh, feels good to get another win. Uh, the Colossus I was not a fan of. Uh, just the rim's way too wide. But the other three I really like. The P3X, if I didn't have a zone, I might consider it. Um, so, but these two are going to my bag. Uh, this is going to my bag to replace an F5. I just had so much glide. This six glide on it is definitely true. These drop uh, Thursday. We have a few on our site. Um, I normally am not like a huge like push salesman, but this thing's amazing. I'm very, very surprised. Stoked to have this in my bag. In the Prowler, I hated how it felt when I picked it up. I didn't like the plastic, I didn't think, but this thing has so much glide. It's going straight in my bag, and I'm gonna try to find some baseline plastics, and I might kick the PA3s out for the Prowler. I never thought I would say that about a PA3, but this, this thing's special. Um, yeah, I'm shocked. Go ahead and check the links in our description below to our website, some sick custom stamps at Supreme Flight, uh, all of our social media, and we'll see you guys in the next video.